G'day, my name is James Flores and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play a piece of Vierne and it's the famous Carillon de Westminster. I'm going to warn you, this is not a polished performance. And why would I upload or record a piece of music that's unpolished? Well, I actually only spent two weeks uh, learning this. And it was a challenge with uh, my fellow YouTuber, YouTube friend, Vidas Pinkavichus, who runs the Secrets of Organ Playing channel. And in his Secrets of Organ Playing community off YouTube, it's a, a base camp forum. Um, I'll leave a link to the description if you'd like to consider um, joining his little community of other organists, learning to play various things. He's got an, an enormous amount of information on organ playing in general and um, every day there's like a, a check-in says that asks what are you working on today and one day I just thought you know I don't really um, sorry Venus I don't really respond to them very much but today that, that day two weeks ago I wrote I'm working on Vierne's Krillin de Westminster and one thing led to another and I challenged him because we've done these challenges in the past where we both learned a piece of repertoire and he challenged me to put a date on it because if we don't put a date on something um, the length of time it will, t it will take to learn this piece is indefinite uh, is that Murphy's law hopefully I'm using the right the right term there yeah if, if we set it for a year it'll take us a year to do if we set it for six months it'll take six months to do so I gave the date, uh, two weeks, and I was meant to be submitting this recording before or on the 14th of February. So I'm a bit early. Uh, I need to get out of the way because I've got a busy weekend, I've got to prepare for Sunday music, Sunday mass music, all that kind of stuff, so I'm just getting out of the way now. And yeah, I surprisingly, I, um, I got, I've, I've gotten through all the notes uh, in my learning process and when I say two weeks of learning it's not sitting down you know 24 hours a day just learning this learning just doing that exclusively well I could have done that but you know I had to live my own life have things outside the organ and you should if you've been following my channel you see I've been doing stuff with Swellvox and other things not just um, just learning this career in the Westminster yes yeah, so it's it actually possible to, to learn a piece of music like this in a short period of time, albeit it's not going to be refined, it's not um, going to be the most flawless performance or speed wise or all that kind of stuff and registration changes and page turns and all that stuff, but um, I'm actually surprised myself that I could uh, get through this in, in under two weeks. Uh, yeah, so let this be um, let this be a thought for you, you organists out there that um, give yourself a hard date and and stick to it, and you might be surprised at what you um, what you achieve. So I'm going to now um, play this for you and um, see what happens. You know, I may do a few takes and get the best. Best of the best, but uh, who knows? Take it away, James.
wow wow I can't believe I actually got through that <laughs> there were a few there are a few issues um, and you know I'm going to admit I do cheat in some spots and I think every organist that does play this knows of the spots that I'm talking about it's these stretches in the um, the Takata like section figure the figuration um, it's hard enough on you know an electric action uh, MIDI keyboards and on a tracker action it's almost physically impossible and it doesn't and it's kind of I don't think it's good for your hand as well it's just it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt a lot so um, I just fill it in with a pattern that works with the harmony and I think I think that it um, works let me know what you think I suppose French organists must have had long fingers and long hand spans to be able to do this or Vion had it at least yes thank you thank you for for putting up with this um, this two week long journey um, but yeah I do promise you that I will record record this again um, a bit more polished um, down the track but it's good to know that um, I have the basics under my fingers so in future performances it will be much better and learning pieces like this uh, is really worthwhile because think about how much mileage you're going to get from learning a, a, a larger scale piece uh, learning pretty much any VN, any big VN work is going to give you a lot of mileage in your career and throughout the rest of your life. And it's definitely a crowd pleaser. Uh, thank you to Sonus Paradisi for this lovely sample set, which I've played the Crown de Westminster on, which is the Billebeck Dom Flita organ. I had to pick an organ with an organ sample set with a lot of reverb to hide all the inaccuracies that I did during that piece. Thank you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.